the money was she left shit at? That one? I said, bitch, I know you lying. They said, Kelsey Harris and her testimony. That's evidence. I said, the yellow bitch that said she was lying. With the patch in her head. Child, maybe her head and grew back now. Bitch, I don't know. But I said, child, what? So he gonna say, Kelsey Harris then versus now. Okay? He said, when Kelsey came in in September, she told the truth. They said, Millie, they out here saying Megan gonna sue you in academics. So, he said, something happened and Kelsey was compromised from September to now. Kelsey has been compromised and, you know, obviously, obviously something has happened because she changed, you know, um, her testimony and what she had to say. And so, um, there was a black juror that I saw shaking his head. No, you know, and I was like, sure. And so, um, he said in July, 2020, we got the real Kelsey and it said July, 20, 2022. These hoes didn't threw the PowerPoint together so fast. It ain't even got the right goddamn date on it. The prosecution about as lazy as the LAPD. I said, bitch, what he talking about? It, it should say July 12, 2022. Well, shouldn't there be something y'all went over and shouldn't there be something you fix? Or should I just stop asking questions because I'm expecting too much from y'all ass? Which one? Let me know. So, um, they bring up the text to Justin at 4.27 a.m. And they said, you know, this text was sent right after it happened. They said the defense wants you to believe that Kelsey shot her. But she had been comforting her. They said, is Kelsey a criminal mastermind? Is that why she sent that message at 4.27? What's going on? Then he said, where's Justin? I say, bitch, who is he talking to? Then you, you tell me. He say, where's Justin? I know I told y'all in opening statements that we had a witness, you know, that was going to be coming forward and saying that Tori came over there and confessed. But we didn't deliver on that. You ain't delivered on the whole goddamn case. So just charge that one to the game, nigga. So they showed a video of Kelsey sitting outside and they, they showed that she had some blood dripping down her damn leg. And so the, in the video, Kelsey talking about, Megan, you okay? And that's what they wanted to highlight. This man gonna say, Kelsey said, baby, are you okay? We all looked at each other because it's a lot of people that think that Megan and Kelsey was fucking. Am I a lot of people on oh, some days of the week? I don't know what the hell was going over there, bitch. I think it was a freak show orgy circus, bitch. I think everybody was over there fucking everybody because that's what hoes be doing. Um, But I don't know. Who am I? I'm just a bitch that be saying shit that I guess is about to get sued, bitch. I don't know. They're going to get a synthetic wig and a tire off my van, bitch. I know you fucking lying. So... He gonna say that Kelsey said, baby, are you okay? And we all sitting up there looking like, what the fuck you mean, baby, is you okay? Who the hell said that? This man saw all over the place. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. So then he said, the friendship did not end after the shoot. He said, the friendship ended um, because of the, the situation and how it was handled. If Megan would have basically had her back, they wouldn't have felt like it wasn't about no dick. Okay. Um... They said the relationship dwindled because of no contact and uh, Megan felt alone and she felt isolated. OK, then they show um, the text message and um, they talk about, you know, the text message where um, she said once again, hey, Justin, this is what happened. They talked about injury photos. All of these things have been submitted into evidence. So they didn't put them up on the screen, but we know what they're talking about. They're talking about Kelsey and the ball pitch in her head and the marks on her legs and on her arms. Um, they also said that evidence was E.J. King's testimony. They brought up the jail call. They brought up the Instagram post that wasn't ever verified because the man ain't even looked for the IP address. Well, allegedly, um, Tory Lanez had said Kelsey did not shoot her. They brought up the video that I told you about with Officer Cabral where you can hear Kelsey saying, are you okay, Megan? Um, they said Megan's testimony was evidence. And then they said that the diss track was evidence because they said that Kelsey in the diss track was basically saying she didn't do it. That's how they received it. OK, um, he said Kelsey wasn't protecting Megan because she didn't have no reason to. He's basically saying in September she told her truth. Now, let's go over evidence again because they went over evidence again. So he said Megan's testimony is evidence that we're doing bullet points. How many black jurors are there? There's an older black woman, a younger black girl, 
an older black man and a younger black man for black people. Um, they said Kelsey's testimony was evidence. They said that um, the attempted bribes that they couldn't prove, they said that that was evidence. They said the jail call on July 12th at 9.05 a.m., uh, that that's evidence. And they said that the text that Tori sent to Megan apologizing at 9 p.m. that night saying sorry, that that was evidence. Um, they pointed out that Tori had said in the jail call, I don't even know what we argued about. Okay. Then he called Kelsey Kelly. And I said, bitch, three strikes and your ass is out. Nah, damn. You're going to have to get your head in the game, Gigi. And so um, they basically said Tory couldn't have been apologizing for the argument or what took place because he said, I didn't even know what we were arguing about. That was some stupid ass shit. So anyway, he said that the location of the gun was evidence. I'll refute that right now, baby. The location of the gun was the front passenger seat. They changed seats in that car before they took off the last time. The person that rode in that seat the entire time was Megan. Do you understand that? I know y'all couldn't see, but they had the picture of the uh, weapon and how they found it before they moved everything to take a clear picture of it. Babe, the Louis V bag was right on top of the gun. Okay? 